Welcome to the 2021 Economic Depression and Preparation Channel. I'm your host, Tony. Thank you for joining me on this July 23rd, 2021, Friday, end of week. Well, they say let the good times roll in America and the Western Hemisphere as things and states are opening all up and people are out, no social distancing at concerts, parties, uh, sports, sporting events, the Olympics. Uh, there's no spectators there, of course, in Tokyo, uh, but everything is full speed ahead and everybody's like, hey, but wait a minute. What about this U.S. economy? What about living beyond today? What about things that are not looking good? The contradictory information that we see out of the news outlets and what's going on in the streets is coming back to bite everyone in the butt later on this summer. But the good news is we're here God has blessed us with health, strength, a roof over our heads, food in our bellies. Things are looking good in that respect. And the economy's lasted this long, despite two double-dip recessions, which technically equals a depression, but we're not ready to name it yet. So let's get right into it, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe to Preach to Me for the latest news. Thank you for your support. And here we go. Uh, it's been official. The COVID recession lasted just two months. This is the shortest in U.S. history. Now, you know, of course, they had the media had to spin it this way, but technically we're in a depression. Um, this recession has only lasted two months. It's still ongoing. It hasn't miraculously disappeared, as many of you know. Uh, but they say it marks a two-month downturn as the shortest in U.S. history, according to the NB, uh, National Economic Research, NBER, supposedly. Now, um... And they show a picture, of course, of residential single family homes in construction by KB Homes here in California back in June, uh, which is down. So this has been the shortest recession by the media. But unfortunately, this we're in a depression. That's why it's been so short is because the numbers have been doctored up, manipulated, just like the silver and gold markets, the crypto markets, uh, anything, excuse me, real and tangible like physical land. Uh, Bitcoin, gold, all of that has been manipulated to uh, numbers that are fake. And that's what things are going on right now. Uh, we still have 10, 7.1 7 million few Americans at work than when the pandemic began in February 2020. We're almost going on two years of this pandemic and the U.S. economy cools after rocketing higher in the second quarter. We had a little spike because of all the stimulus and all the hiring going on. But now we're going into the third quarter here, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, hiring has failed to pick up. Many jobs are not being filled because people are saying they're not getting benefits and not getting hours. Who wants to work for less than 30 hours a week in this type? of economy when you got to feed your family and everything and the rich get richer jeff bezos sir richard branch and all those guys and took the space trip which was nice to see um you know and but unfortunately uh that costs a lot of money and resources uh for, from a lot of agencies but inflation is creeping up short-term capacity issues are major sources of uncertainty among businesses business optimism about the year fell to the lowest level so far this year Next year, 2022, we're going to see higher interest rates. Um, NESA article says that business activity cools further in July. We're in July right now. The, um, we have supply constraints. Uh, somebody said Taco Bell was I had a food shortage. You guys see that in the news uh, yesterday. Taco Bell is saying some of the ingredients have a food shortage. Um, other companies is, uh, are, are talking about ordering. Grocery stores are talking about ordering in advance to try to get ahead of the food shortage. This is the lowest oat and wheat crops out in the midwest that we're going to be receiving absolutely crazy stuff going on right now and the drought is finally sort of subsiding thank god those folks in uh arizona uh, new mexico colorado the four corners area the monsoonal flow of rain has started and so the drought has helped them um to, to help the water issue there they've gotten two or three inches of rain the last few couple of days here so that's a blessing and so but still the crop the damages to oat and wheat crops in the kansas and the midwest iowa have done tremendous damage um and they were still recovering from the big derecho storm iowa was and other areas were that knocked out a lot of the corn crops there too so all of that's going to be coming into the system later this winter like they say winter is coming and so if you can get some stock up on some food for two months at least a two month supply a month to two month supply on essentials um that you need if you have a separate ice box some people do out in the garage or out somewhere that'd be a great plan and of course the generators many of you have that already both solar and gas hybrid generators because all of that's going to be needed 
Um, and then on top of that, the lockdown, the second lockdown I tell you about, well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to more restrictions here. Look at the map. New cases are growing in all of these states according. Now, this is according to them. I, I'm not according to the saying that the variance is growing. Okay. The Delta variant is growing, but, uh, more than 310 million Americans are under directives ranging from shelter in place to stay at home. Uh, health officials warned that easing restrictions too soon could bring new outbreaks, but many states forged ahead. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says he vows to have a regular school year. Look at all these states, people. This is this is a lot of states. New cases are only shrinking in Puerto Rico, but um, according to this map. But what's going to happen is we're going to go to a second lockdown, and during that second lockdown, whenever it starts, they're going to continue with the control and the manipulation of media and of both of supplies okay that could be in this case the second lockdown could mean curfews meaning you can't go outside after midnight to 5 a.m um there could be curfews and queues for store lines at the grocery store or gas lines remember the states uh, remember the countries that did this before america have already done this successfully italy china um guangzhou i mean wuhan china did this italy did this um some other states in europe france did this okay uh, oh, uh, UK, United Kingdom did this. So this is what's coming over here to the Western Hemisphere. A second lockdown is definitely coming. Either is you know even even if the cases are make believe with this Delta and other variants that are coming up with, this is what's going to happen. So get prepared now, ladies and gentlemen, because it's either coming is either coming. I don't know when it's either coming September, the start of the school new school year, or it could be after um but just before winter, sometime before Thanksgiving, November, before this second lockdown takes effect, because all these cases are growing in all these states and everywhere. I mean, look at this, this is in red control states, blue states independent states you name it everywhere from vermont all the way to texas and this is what they want to do because once they get control the power it's a power game now this thing about the pandemic and it's about control and so these restrictions are going to be here for the next at least for the next two years in spite of the different vaccines that they may come up with and all of that so just be prepared for that i know many of you are and many of you are smart and you know what's going on and we know what's going on and so we have to prepare ourselves accordingly for these supply shortage queues and for these lockdown restrictions that they're trying to put on all Americans, um, vaccinated or not vaccinated. I mean, I think it's kind of sad, too, that they are kind of like uh, making the people that are not vaccinated seem evil and stuff like that. Not evil, but seem like they're doing like a disservice. I think that's kind of like wrong. They're saying that the unvaccinated people are causing the variants and all of that in the news. And there's just so much misinformation. And even vaccinated people have been saying they have gotten the um the disease. Um somehow they tested positive and got the disease. I don't know. But the thing is is that these restrictions are gonna be here regardless of the health crisis that we face in America. Um a lockdown is coming because they're gonna have need to control because of the depression that's gonna be going on. It's gonna the depression's gonna get deeper because remember the supply shortage is going to be felt coming up next year. After that, once they get control of the food, water, and the resources, um, the top upper 1% of those who are running the country, once they control of that, they'll have more chance to um, affect people's behavior. So, And then also the crime is going to be going up. You see with all the gun laws and things like that, the money is going to be spent on that. The money is going to be given to the politicians. And the infrastructure bill is having a hard time passing, too. Look out for that, too, as well. Because first they said it was, what, it was $3.6 trillion. Now it's down to one point something trillion that they're trying to pass. So they're having a hard time passing that. We'll see what comes out of that final bill. But the bottom line is we're not getting any stimulus money out of that. Only the child tax credit. Um, the child is going to get um, the children, which has started this month, the $300 per child. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing to help out them as well and the families as well. Um, so guys continue to prepare, continue to stay blessed. And I will talk to you soon on the next update and, uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe. Take it easy.